Welcome back to Advanced Data Analysis. This is Presentation 3, Part 1. In the previous uh, presentation, I talked about uh, the various kinds of descriptive statistics, measures of central tendency, as well as measures of dispersion. And in this presentation, I'm going to talk about how we display the results of descriptive statistics. So the goal of graphing is, is to present descriptive statistics. And really, we don't need to get much more complicated than that because it's the descriptive statistics that really do stand out as far as results are concerned. We present evidence. And keep in mind that some people can interpret uh, subject matter better with the use of visual aids. So uh, graphing is a very useful in that regard as well. Uh, we, we can graph and display frequencies by either by value or by category. We can show how often scores occur. For example, let's take a look at these donut eating professors again. And uh, we can rank these people from most to least. Or we can put it into a histogram. Here is an example of a histogram of the donut eating professors. Or uh, we can do it in terms of a bar graph right here. Here's a bar graph. Or we can actually do proportion, make a pie graph, which is kind of funny when you consider we're talking about eating donuts. But we can make a pie graph and show the proportion of people by their weight class. Another way of dis displaying information is by a line graph. And we can show progress or lack of progress over time. These line graphs are often used in education to, for example, uh, display reading uh, progress. Or in business, maybe to, to show how uh, stocks go up and down. Another way of graphing is a scatter plot. And the good thing about a scatter plot, the advantage of a scatter plot, is we can plot two variables. And this one we can show uh, the variables of employment and as well as presidential approval ratings. And we can see how as unemployment uh, goes up, presidential approval ratings go down. Uh, so that makes sense. And, and that's what graphing does. It shows us how our variables uh, uh, fall into uh, as far as frequencies. It displays results to us very clearly. And I will be back with you again to talk about, finally, some of the advanced methods of uh, inferential statistics in the final presentation. Bye.